facilitating website builds and upgrades of major assets, providing leverage Google Analytics and reporting tools to provide data and analysis. And of course, I'm, I'm sure as you can understand that uh, robust problem solving and abstract conjectures are of course crucial, as I'm sure you're aware. Um, so tonight, I'm going to talk about uh, the reorg with the best practices um, to determine how the matrix dovetails into the wheelhouse using uh, three to PhD as our uh, rubric, and of course transparency is the buzzword, uh, especially when using online qualitative research. Um, there's definitely some synergy here. Uh, the new app, the new app is on the cutting edge, and uh, well, it's well, it's game changing, really. So I might suggest tonight that we just, you know, push ourselves outside the envelope. We think outside the box. We just throw it against the wall and see what sticks. And, um, you know, kind of flush it out a bit. So I am open to Q&A if you have any questions for me. What trends do you see? What trends do I see? Well, I think the optimum um, the optimum qualitative research would point toward a trend of the maximizing of the um, digital marketing spectrum. Is there any specifics in that? Well, the specifics, of course, well, we all know I don't want to bore you with the specifics um, when it comes to uh, the analytic part of it, you know. So. Do I have any other questions? No? Well, then perhaps I should admit the I'm not really, in case you didn't tell, I am not a doctor of anything. In fact, I know nothing about digital media and entertainment tonight, and I am a stand-up comedian. <laughs> <laughs>